Let us learn how to create this beautiful moving highlight animation in PowerPoint. On a click, I highlight the first point. Then on a click, the highlight moves to the next one. Then to the next one. Then on a click to the next one. If you have four points to talk about, you can use this animation to draw the viewer's attention to one point at a time. So let us jump right into the tutorial. Before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Here is a new slide in a new presentation. I've got four points to be highlighted. First, I'll show you the mechanism of how this slide gets thrown to the various points like this. Then I'll show you how to create this beautiful platform through which the light just comes out. For the light beam, let us go to shapes. From basic shapes, let us pick up this isosceles triangle and then draw a triangle like so. Then go to shape fill and give it yellow color. Shape outline, no outline. Now I'm going to flip it vertically and then place it so it covers this particular angle here. And then I'm going to right click and send this to back. Now let us zoom out a little bit like this. And then let us extend this all the way down. And that is a very important thing and keep this out of the slide area as well. So that is our first slide. Then let us right click and duplicate the slide. Here in the thumbnail, you can clearly see which part of the text is being covered. So that is a very important clue for you. Then in the second slide, I'm going to change the angle. Here you can see the rotation handle. I'm going to rotate this so it covers now the second point. Can you see it is covering beautifully? Now right click and duplicate slide. Then click again and then use this rotation handle and then rotate it so it covers the next point. Then right click, duplicate slide, select this and then rotate it so it covers the fourth point. That's it. So we have covered the four points. Now let us select the second one onwards. Hold the shift button down till the last one. Go to transitions and morph transition. Let us go to the first slide and let us see how this whole thing works. We have the highlight for the first one, then the highlight shown to the next one, then to the third one and then to the fourth one. So this is the underlying mechanism. Now we need to make sure that the basic beam is coming from one single light source. Now let us click on this portion here called fit slide to current window. When I click on that, I am able to get back to the original slide size. Go to shapes. From basic shapes, pick up this oval tool, draw a circle like so, fill it with the same yellow color. I'm going to keep the outline for now so it is easy for you to see what I'm doing. Right click, Format shape, go to effect options, go to 3D rotation and from parallel use this one called as off axis one top and this is the light source. I'm going to right click, bring it to front and then place it somewhere over here. Make sure that it is right in the center. So I'm going to use this option here called align objects center. Now I need to adjust the angle so it passes through this. If required, I can even increase the size like so. So it becomes easier for me to make the adjustment. Now, before I do that, let me make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl C and place this exactly in the same position for all the slides. Then let us go to the first slide. Zoom out now. Now, when I go to slideshow, let us see if this is working fine. First one, the second one, the third one and the fourth one. So it looks perfect. Now we need to cover the rest of the portion and we leave only the light portion. So let us go to shapes, pick up the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle to cover the bottom edge, make it white, remove outline. Now bring this light to the front like so and do the exact same thing in the remaining slides as well. Bring this one to the front select this bring to the front this bring to the front now this looks clearer the light is coming from here then it is going through this then it is going through this and then it is going through this now how did i create this platform and how is it that it is passing through this and there is a bit of transparency involved here it's very simple again now let us see what the diameter of this particular circle is. It is 6.38 centimeters. So I'm going to draw two ovals. First is this one and let us have this as 6.38. And then let us draw another one by pressing Ctrl D 
and then make sure that it is kept right on top of the previous one hold control and shift and increase the size by clicking and dragging from the corner and right click and send this to back now i'm going to fill the outer circle with some texture this is the chrome texture i got from pixabay.com when i searched for chrome texture i got this let me crop the unnecessary portions out i'm just going to keep this texture right click cut this and then fill the outer circle with picture or texture fill and use clipboard shape outline no outline this one is going to be the yellow color no outline let us select both of them press ctrl g to create a group right click format picture go to effect options 3d rotation just like we did earlier and use parallel off axis one top and then go to 3d format and add a depth of 25 points now is the fun part let me make a copy of this and then right click and paste this as a picture now i'm going to cut this paste this over here let me make a duplicate of this and keep it to one side the first one let us go to picture format and crop and i'm going to crop it till this point here from where the light is actually coming through and then let me take this right click and send this to back and then i'm going to keep this right over here and this one we are going to have gradient fill you can see that there are four stops here i'm going to have only three stops and let me move this to the center the first one is going to be the same yellow color zero transparency and the second one is going to be yellow color again but this time i'm going to add a transparency of 30 percent so you can clearly see that it is showing as though there is a bit of transparency here the third one is going to be the same yellow color again and you can have a transparency of around 75 percent now when i go to slideshow you can see that this is how the effect shows where there is a light beam here because of the transparency the background is shown and since i have cut this as a picture and cropped it in two halves this works pretty beautifully and that is the secret behind this beam of course for the first one i added a simple fade animation so only on a click i introduce the first point and then from there it is exactly the same thing as i showed earlier if you liked this tutorial then you will really love this other tutorial that i've created called magnifying lens zoom effect in powerpoint the effect looks like this there is a beautiful magnifying lens that magnifies only a portion of the photo it's a very interesting effect i will leave a link to this right now on your screen you can click on the link and watch this video next and learn a very powerful technique that will definitely wow your audience i'll see you in the next video